friends this is dr abdul kayam chupthana wala today i would like to share a very acute case acute condition where the symptoms were very easy to understand interpret and lubricate but when you lubricate some uh, when you find the case is very easy that sometimes case becomes difficult to treat and when you lubricate some symptoms you suddenly get a drug which you a surprised how this drug i have never thought of this was a case a simple case of discharge from the nose i would like to discuss two case in the, with this drug the first case was a simple nose discharge from the nose he used to the patient came and took uh, came and told me sir there's a lot of water discharge from the nose sometimes in the morning sometimes in the night and there is teasing there is cast formation more in the winter xyz and the symptom was very easy i gave a drug but it relieved partially and like again the symptom came back so when again the patient came to me then i tried to analyze and define each and every symptom what the patient exactly trying to tell me and as i always say that you must give some time to the patient so that he can describe his symptoms at length don't rush with your prescription give some time the symptoms will automatically come out from the patient so this was a case of simple case of discharge from the nose then i asked him when is the discharge more he said sir the problem is whenever i eat dinner the coryza increases more though it is mild but after dinner i can sh- i tell you it is more so that's why whenever in the night i, I eat dinner i eat dinner early so that i can take steam and minimize my discharge so that i can sleep properly then i said sir something more ke okay, sir actually it is dinner after but whenever i eat some food the discharge is more that is discharge starts coming at the breakfast lunch and dinner after dinner though it is more but whenever i am eating food also then also the discharge from the nose is more and this is a very important symptom i thought because i had read about this symptom that whenever while eating there is coryza you must think about carbo animalis you must think about plumbum metallicum you must think about sulfur you must think about nuxomica and you must think about clematis because these drugs also have a very rare and important symptom coryza more eating while then as the case progress asked him something more then he said sir sometime <coughs> the crust formation there are scabs inside the nose crust formation scabs inside the nose and when i break this scab the discharge again becomes very watery and excoriating so from the scab the discharge type is also important because sometimes that from the scab the discharge is purulent sometimes it is yellow sometimes offensive sometimes greenish but here the patient was complaining the scabs the discharge is watery and excoriating now if you have this symptom where the scabs hard to remove watery discharge excoriating from the nose you must remember one drug and that is plumbum metallicum with this drug also so plumbum was coming out Away as a important symptom, an important drug in this case. But let me go further and see how the drug changes. I asked symptom anything else. He said, "Sir, uh, while eating also, I have coryza that I have told you. And normally, when I get up in the morning, though everything is okay, but I feel very restless after midnight." And he was referring exactly at about 4 a.m. I wake up from the sleep, then I cannot sleep. I become very restless at 4 a.m. Though I have no nose complaint at that time. And this was a very important symptom because there are drugs where if the patient is restless after midnight or after 4 a.m., you must remember clematis, creosote, nitric acid, which I have seen in my practice, but no plumbum metallicum. so this is a case an important case where we come to know a simple case of discharge from the nose watery discharge while eating more after dinner and restlessness if you put this all the symptoms in your repertory chart and you will be surprised to know that when the drug comes out it is a very very rare drug 
that I also prescribed in this case. I had never prescribed this drug for this symptom. And the drug that came in the repertory chart was thrombidium. T H R O M B I D I U M. The full name is thrombidium muscae domestica. Thrombidium muscae domestica. And I give him thrombida, thrombidium domestica 200, three dose, of course, in a month's time everything was better the scab formation improved the coriza improved and he was much happy but a very rare drug i came to learn from that case when sabadella or arsenic or the plumbum <coughs> uh, kali is these fails you must think about this drug thrombidium now the second case i would like to share uh, that was also a very simple case of jt complaints the patient came to me with lot of pain in the abdomen but he said kitna mein dard hua na main latrine jata hu mere dard mein aaram nahi padta hai means whenever there is pain in the abdomen and the patient passes stools he does not feel better in most of the drugs in amateur medica the patient is better by passing stools but this case he said i am not relaxed symptoms are not gone even after passing stools then i said how is the pain he said the pain is cramping and gripping and i want to i'm forced to go to the stools but with stools i don't get relief see how the body is behaving the body is telling him to go for stools but after stools also he is not better again a very important symptom third he said, sir, when I wake up in the morning, I feel like somebody has uh, beaten up my stomach. I have so much pain in the stomach as if somebody has beating, uh, beaten my stomach when I get up in the morning. I have a lot of pain in the abdomen. I said, okay. I said, any uh, typical modalities when the pain, uh, how, uh, when does the pain increase after eating, drinking, fasting, when? I said, sir, yes, an important symptom. Whenever I eat sweets, whenever I eat sugar, I have diarrhea. Now, this was a case where sugar eating causes diarrhea. And if this symptom is in front of you, you definitely think of some drug. And the first drug that should come into mind is Urgentum nitricum. Second, magnesium, mecarb, and third, sulfur. Now, these are the drug also present with symptom sugar causes diarrhea but let us go further and i asked him ke, uh, and he told me sir uh, the diarrhea is sometimes so severe that after diarrhea also i cannot bend and do work because i feel that something will again come out of the anus now what is the patient trying to tell us ke, i cannot do heavy work i cannot do bending work because I feel the sensation that stools will come even if I am passing diarrhea stools satisfied but when I come back also I feel that the stool will pass so this is a symptom that you have to interpret then you can prescribe the drug whenever this is a symptom that means the patient feels the anus is wide open and stool will pass and whenever this symptom comes, of course, the first drug you must remember is phosphorus. That is, involuntary stools as, as if the anus remained wide open. You must think about phosphorus first. As we, I, as I probed the case further, he told me there is pain in the testes during stools. Whenever I have uh, diarrhea or stools, there is pain in the testes. And now this again was a very important symptom for prescribing. And again I told, again I asked him that uh, any other symptom, oh, he said, sir, uh, whenever I pass stools, I have, what, what is this? This is shivering. I have shivering during stools. And when you have shivering during stools, you must remember one more drug, that is calcarea carb. So this was a picture in front of, uh, front of me, a uh, drug very close to phosphorus, but not phosphorus. What were the symptoms the patient trying to tell us? Pain in the abdomen, not better by stool. The pain is cramping, gripping. 
so severe he is forced to go to stools but stool does not relieve. Pain is sore, bruised when we in the abdomen and when we wake up in the morning. Sugar causes diarrhea. Sensation as if anus remained wide open. Pain extending to testes during stools or pain in the testes during stools and shivering during stools. When you repetize this, all the symptoms, you again get a very important drug and that is thrombidium. Though I have prescribed thrombidium in these cases, but I would like to share this case where phosphorus seemed to be prescri prescribing, but thrombidium domestica cured the complaints. And if you go and see the mathematic and repertory, pain, cramping, gripping, not better by stools is the only drug in the mathematic is thrombidium. This you have to remember, this differentiates your drug with thrombidium. Now, there are two, three symptoms which I would like, uh, like to share of thrombidium, which is not present in this case, that is weakness in the knees after stools. The patient will tell you that whenever I get up from the stools, I feel so weak. In fact, my knees feel so weak after stools. There are a lot of remedies prescribed where the patient has general weakness after stools. But knees weakness after stool, the only drug is thrombidium domestica. And one more symptom I would like to add that is in delirium per per persons enlarged feeling there is after vertigo or during vertigo. Means if the patient is suffering from vertigo, he feels the enlarged person. Matlab, if this is the face, he feels enlarged faces. If this is the face, he says enlarged faces during vertigo. These two symptoms, a rare symptom, I would like to add. Because this symptom that is delusion persons enlarged during vertigo is present in thrombidium domestica. It is also present in causticum, chamomilla, antivirgulum. But in thrombidium also is present. So the symptom is delirium or delusion persons enlarged during vertigo. In vertigo, he feels enlarged person. Delusion is a delusion that persons enlarged during vertigo. And there is weakness in the knees after stools. These two symptoms also I have seen in thrombidium. So my friends, we have learned a very important drug today that is thrombidium domestica. If you like this video, please do share and subscribe. Thank you.